terrorism is antithetical of everything that the world stands for. All its forms of and manifestations must be resolutely opposed. But some make conscious choices with disastrous consequences. A premier example is our neighbor, Pakistan. Its GDP can only be measured in terms of radicalization and its exports in the form of terrorism. It can't blame the world. This is only karma. If we are to ensure global security and stability, then it is essential that those who seek to lead set the right example. The UN has always maintained that peace and development go hand in hand. Yet, when challenges to one have emerged, due regard has not been given to the other. Clearly, their economic implications for the weak and vulnerable need to be highlighted. But we must also recognize that conflicts themselves must be resolved. The world cannot be fatalistic about the continuation of violence on a large scale, no more than be impervious to its broader consequences. Whether it is the war in Ukraine or the conflict in Gaza, the international community seeks urgent solutions. These sentiments must be acknowledged and acted upon. Madam President, the UN is a testimony to the agreed principles and shared objectives of the world order. Respect for international law and commitments are among the foremost in that regard. If we are to ensure global security and stability, then it is essential that those who seek to lead set the right example. Nor can we countenance egregious violations of our basic tenets. Terrorism is antithetical of everything that the world stands for. All its forms of and manifestations must be resolutely opposed. The sanctioning of global terrorists by the United Nations should also not be impeded for political reasons. Madam President, many countries get left behind due to circumstances beyond their control. But some make conscious choices with disastrous consequences. A premier example is our neighbor, Pakistan. Unfortunately, their misdeeds affect others as well, especially the neighborhood. When this polity instills such fanaticism among its people, its GDP can only be measured in terms of radicalization and its exports in the form of terrorism. Today, we see the ills it sought to visit on others consume its own society. It can't blame the world. This is only karma. Madam President, a dysfunctional nation coveting the lands of others must be exposed and must be counted. We heard some bizarre assertions from it at this very forum yesterday. So let me make India's position perfectly clear. Pakistan's cross-border terrorism policy will never succeed, and it can have no expectation of impunity. On the contrary, actions will certainly have consequences. The issue to be resolved between us is now only the vacation of illegally occupied Indian territory by Pakistan, and of course, the abandonment of Pakistan's long-standing attachment to terrorism. 